if people want to keep up to date with you, do you have a blog? I know you've got uh, your Twitter and you also post different things in the forums and things like that. What's the best way? Obviously, people can check out uh, or site sell.com. What's the best way to keep on sort of the pulse of what you're doing? We, we have a blog, and the blog is used as much to, you know, transmit uh, our e-zines and stuff and communicate to the FBI owners as it is to uh, blog per se, like, you know, and in my case, it's like just trying, trying to write intelligent things every now and then. <laughs> it would probably be to subscribe to my forum feed, and to do that, you have to join the affiliate program because the forums are closed. And, again, it, it's a funny thing, you know, I Twitter, but I Twitter because I'm trying to figure out, I tried to figure out how to use Twitter for small business clients, for FBI owners. Again, for me, you know, at a certain point, our company gets to a certain size that we can hire staff to Twitter, and we may very well start to do that and to start blogging and so forth. But with 100,000 affiliates now to get the word out pretty well, and they use social media. You know, when we, when we first did Penny Gold, I was my customer today. Penny Mining Stock, terrific little niche, and I had a product to sell, an e-good. And I built traffic, and I monetized that traffic. I was an FBI owner for all intents and purposes. When we came out with Make Your Site Sell, we realized now that this covers an infinite number of niches. Just about any small business person needed to read Make Your Site Sell. Most small business people really should be using Site Sell if they have yet to build a successful e-business online. I mean, they should be trying Site Sell if they don't like it after their money back. Um, there's so much to gain and just ask your money back if it's not for them. But uh, that's, um, that's about it. You know, it's like it's just really getting the steps straight and thinking clearly and, and straightforwardly to make very clean and simple decisions. People overcomplicate matters. I don't know, David, there's not much more to say, no, to I, say I, than that. I, I, I the other day, it's it. very, very simple, you know. I think, um, in even all of those names that you mentioned, your name fits for me well within the group of people that you uh, keep your eye on. If people do want to find out more about you, definitely check out the site Build It uh, blog or just go to sitesell.com to find out more. That sort of links through to most of what you guys do. Um, perhaps we'll wrap up there. Just I can't thank you enough, Ken. I know how busy you are and... You know, this call took a little bit of uh, orchestrating, but it was well worth it, and I know people are going to love it. So thank you very much. Oh, it's my pleasure, David. You're, uh, you're, you're, like I said, you are one in a thousand who just goes out there, reads the material, gets the job done, and um, you do a great job. So uh, my thank you to you.